screaming by the swings for about I don't know what. And there was this girl with these freckles and bright red pigtails and she went sliding down this yellow slide and she just crashed right into the concrete. And I remember her mom just ran over and scooped her up and held her and you know she didn't care about the blood on her shirt or the snot running down her shoulder she just she just whispered i'm sorry in her daughter's ear and she just kept holding her and holding her until she felt like it was safe to let go my whole life i was convinced that if i ever met my mom she would do the same you know that she would say she was sorry and she would hold me until i felt safe But that's not ever going to happen. Because I never should have existed in the first place. You call everything he did to me, everything I escaped. That was my birthright, there it is. Many livers would have taken years, not months. Paul would still be hurting his fiance, I'm sure. Alex Karev would probably still be evil spawn. Alex Karev would not be the man he is without loving you or being loved by you. Violence isn't your birthright or your inheritance. It's something you survived. Because you were the opposite of that. You have an enormous will. An enormous heart, an enormous capacity for survival. You've taken all this darkness and used it to help other people who are walking through the same. You lined that hallway with women to help that woman who was hurting badly just hurt a little bit less. You've taken your darkest experiences that life gave you and you turned it around and turned it into light and if the woman who gave birth to you doesn't want to see that then that's on her you know there was a moment years ago I slipped and I fell into the sound into freezing, freezing cold water. And I thought to myself, just for one moment, I thought, why fight? Why not just stop? But you fought. No, I didn't. I stopped. The only reason I'm here is because the people who love me didn't give up on me. So what I'm asking you is, is this you telling me that you just need a few more days under the covers until you can go back to work? Or are you telling me that you want to stop? Okay, so then we are going to go talk to Bailey. We're going to talk to Alex. Oh, God, I don't want to. No, I know you don't want to, but we have to get you the right kind of help. We have to get you a proper leave of absence so that your career is waiting for you when you come back. Come on, Joe, I have you. Please. Come on. All you have to do is get up and take a shower. Are you telling me that I stink? Well, I'm not going to start lying to you now. 